Hi, welcome back. In this lesson, I will teach you a very important feature. I will teach you how to implement filter. As you can see, I have five products in my application and each product belongs to a category. For example, electronics, accessories, and uh, cell phone. Okay, this is just example. For example, here we display all the categories, all the products. Okay, now if you want to filter by electronics, look, by clicking filter, I have only products that belong to electronics. And here, cell phone, only products that belong to cell phone. And the last one, accessories, filter, all products belong to accessories okay guys so let's implement from back end to front end this nice feature without wasting time let's begin by the way if this is your first time in this channel consider to subscribe and hit the notification button to receive our last video with that being said let's go to our code editor Okay, and now in our code editor, we have implemented, I mean, uh, uh, products, but our focus in this video will be more on how to implement, I mean, the filter. But uh, I do want to show you what I've done. For example, I have uh, the loop to output the, on the products. Okay, so what I've done, I have uh, created, I mean, the variable to receive. Uh, I mean the products, okay, and this is the link, okay, the API link, and let me go back, okay, but this component card I've implemented in, uh, I've created this component in component, I name it, I mean card, okay, as you can see, and this is card component, okay, to display, I mean, uh, products, okay, but I've passed the image has ports, product name, product length, port category, and price, okay, here, okay, this is nothing too fancy, okay, and after that, um, this is to say, if this is true, this is to avoid, I mean, uh, um, error, okay, while our application is loading, okay, if this is true, we'll, we'll map, okay, and I've passed pay, um, the has parameter okay here and uh, my image pay that image that URL okay and and so on pay name for product name okay since I've passed I mean those I mean ports okay in my component okay so uh, that's it guys but now let's go to implement the filter form our backend API. Okay, now we know backend API in product controller. So specifically in display product, this is the controller that is display all the products. Okay, I need to filter by category. First of all, let's bring the category model. You will see why. In a moment. Okay. Go in. Like so, and here. Okay, but here in the model, okay, in the product model, as you can see, I have, I mean, a field name category. But this category is also a model. Here we link the product model with the category model. For each product that we save in the database, it will have, I mean, an ID for that category. Oh, that makes sense okay so go back here in our controller we need to filter by category okay. since i have this category in my product model i can filter by category okay but if i were to filter by only one category i would add i mean the id of that category let me show you an example like so but i want this second part of the object to be dynamic okay so 
um, either I can filter by one category or by all categories. Okay, so this part needs to be dynamic. Let's do this. I'm gonna create a query. I mean, add the query, but this query does not exist yet. We're gonna um, create it. So what I will do first, let me add a comment. All categories. Okay, to do so, get a variable name as is. Okay, that will be an array. Okay, and most of config equal only because we are using a single weight. So it's okay, but I need to return only IDs, okay? Because each category in the product has an ID, okay? So what I will do, I will pass the curl braces and comma, also another curl braces, ID, colon, one. That is to say, I want to return all the results but I only need IDs, okay? Give me only IDs, okay? So this is what it says. And now let's print this category. Okay. Now let's see, okay? I will print this for you to see the process, okay? Now let's check it in Postman. Okay, here I forget one thing because query is not defined yet. Okay, I'm gonna remove it temporarily. I'm gonna, uh, I will be back with this object. Okay, let's comment. Okay, and let's save. Okay, so let's go to Postman and let's try to send the query. I want to show you, I mean, the catech, what it will return. Okay. So, uh, as you can see in CATEG, I've created this. You see, CATEG return an array of object. Okay? And each object has ID. Okay? So, that is the point. Let's go back to our code editor. Now, I have showed you what, uh, I mean, uh, um, this CATEG return. Okay, so to have all the IDs, what I will do, I need to map, okay, to make a loop, okay, so this catag, okay, I need to map, okay, I need to make a loop for each, for each card, okay, location. What I want to do, I want uh, to push I mean, IDs, IDs that push, I mean, that, that ID, okay? So here, if you want, okay, um, now instead of return catag, I will show you, I will return IDs, okay? Just to see the process. Let's save. Okay. And now let's go back to Postman. Okay. Just for you to see the process. And now let's send. I will have IDs. Let's send. Okay. Let's go. As you can see, I have only IDs. Okay. Make sense? So I will filter either by one. Um, uh, product category ID or by all if there is no um, ID pass as parameter. You get the point. Okay, let's go back. Now this is where the magic will happen. I will put back, I mean, this, okay, this object here, filter by category, and this query will create this query. 
Okay, but first of all, let's let's fill out the filter. Filter. Okay, let's create a variable. Tap. Okay. Good quest. Dot query because I will pass. I mean, cat has a uh, uh, parameter in the API endpoint in the front end. Okay, query that. Okay, like so. But also now I will create this query. Okay, let query. Okay, pay attention. If I have, I mean, a query. I mean. Uh, let's say I have value of the ID passed as parameter here. Let's say the condition. Okay. If, I mean, um, this is not empty, okay? Um, the category passed as parameter is not empty. I wanna, I mean, I wanna get this specific ID. If not, I will show all my products by all the ID. Okay, you see, by all the IDs. I mean, if uh, uh, pay attention, if I have one category pass in the parameter, it will display my product for that uh, particular category. If not, I will have all the IDs. That means I will have all the products, right? Okay, so, and uh, I have done with my backend API. Let's save. And now I will go to front end. I don't need these IDs because it was to show you the process. Okay. Now let's save. Let's go to our front end to display, I mean, all the category and realize the filter. Since we have implemented successfully, I mean, the filter in our backend API, so now I will explain what happened in the front end. First of all, I've created categories to display all the categories, okay, from our, I mean, uh, category what, okay? So this what will display all the categories. Category API forward slash category forward slash all, okay? So um, let's go back here, okay? So all the category you see here and set categories, okay? Cat, okay? Cat data categories. Now I have all the categories. I can display all the categories. Let's let's look in the uh, JSX. As you can see, this is a little uh, here. You see, I have the, a form. First of all, okay, form group, and now I have a select, okay. As you can see, um, first of all, I have to loop, okay. See option value, okay. I have uh, to loop, okay, uh, option. So in this loop, I have, you see, categories and categories to avoid the cover, okay. If this is true, we have the map, okay, cut, and in the option, we pass the value, so we have the ID, okay? Here we have the ID, and in the front end, we show the name of that particular category, okay? And after that, I need one more, okay? Option, or with empty value, okay? And after that, I have created, okay, another variable. This variable will be used here in the endpoint. As you can see, you see cat um, for the controller. You see cat will be the query, okay, in our uh, API endpoint in the front end. So cat and pass the category. Okay, but this category, you see, now it is empty, okay? So, um, when we, um, let's say, here, you see, for empty value, it will display all. This is how we configure it in our backend API, okay? For empty value, okay? So let me go back again to get the point. So if the category is empty, okay, this is here. Is If it's not empty, I will have the category. 
else I will have all the categories. Okay, this is how we configure it. So to display all the categories here. And now I have implemented, I mean, an event on change. Okay, set the category. Okay, e target that value. Okay, e dot target that value. Okay, to grab any option that we pick here. Okay, so uh, what else? And we have also implemented have a button on click. Okay, this filter filter button. This is the event. Okay, so on click. Okay, this is to prevent uh, default um, uh, behavior. Okay, so we fetch the product. Each time we fetch, we have a value. Okay, but um, um, I think that's it. Let's see if I have one more thing. Okay. I have separate, I mean, so you you may know that we can have more than one use effect here to fetch, I mean, uh, 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 our API, okay? This is one for product and this is fetch for product category. But why I did it like so, it's for performance reason, because here also you can fetch I mean, uh, uh, the product automatically, okay, without clicking. And if so, if you want to do this, you would remove the button. And here in the fetch product, you will pass the category. Let me show you here. Uh, here, fetch. Each time category change uh, a value, you would fetch again. And now let me let me remove the button temporarily. Okay, comment. And let's save. And let's go to the front end. I will show you. Okay, here as you can see, I have no button. Okay, uh, the filter will work automatically the way I've shown you. Okay, so look, electronics. Okay, as you can see, automatically cell phone automatically accessories automatically and all on the product you see so if you want you can realize the filter with a button or without button to display automatically so guys that's it for this lesson so if you have question please leave it in the comment section and um um, don't forget to like um, this video and share it to your friends so that more people can watch this video and also it helps with the YouTube algorithm. So that being said, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.